Hey everyone, so iOS 16.5 came out recently, but a lot of people have reported lag issues or battery life problems, so in this video I'll be explaining to you how you can downgrade from iOS 16.5 to iOS 16.4.1. So first off, you'll need to connect your iPhone to your Mac or PC using the cable that you use to charge your iPhone. And once that's been done, just go ahead and log onto your computer. And once you log into your computer, you might get this trust notification on your phone asking if you want to trust the computer. So what you want to do is press on trust, and it might also tell you to type in a passcode, so make sure to do that. Then open your internet browser and search for ipsw.me, and select whether you're using an iPhone or an iPad. And then you need to also select the model of that device you're using. I'm using an iPhone SE 2020, so I'm going to be selecting that. Then under the signed IPSWs, you should see iOS 60.4.1, and if it's not signed, then that means the tutorial doesn't work anymore. And next, what you need to do is scroll down to the download button and press on that. So now while we're waiting for that to download, we're going to go onto our phone and open settings. Next, tap on your profile at the top and press on Find My. Then tap on Find My iPhone and disable it. And next, you need to type in your iPhone passcode. And once you've done that, you'll see that Find My iPhone will be disabled. Now once your file has been downloaded, this next step will be different depending on if you have a Mac or Windows. If you're using a Mac, then just open Finder and press on your device at the side of the window. And next, just press on on the option key and press on restore iPhone at the same time. Now if you're using a Windows computer, the instructions will be a bit different. First off, you gotta make sure that iTunes is installed and if you don't have it downloaded, just search for it in the Microsoft Store. And next. Once you have it downloaded, just go ahead and open it. And then you'll see the iPhone logo at the top left corner of the screen. So go ahead and press on it. And once you're on this page, just hold down on the shift key while you press on restore iPhone. So now for the rest of the video, whether or not you're a Mac or Windows user, you'll just need to follow the same instructions. Now on this window, you'll see a list of all your downloads. So select the one that you downloaded a moment ago and press on open. Then press on restore, and now you just need to wait for your iPhone to finish downgrading. Now once your iPhone has been restored, it should be running iOS 16.4.1, so just go ahead and set it up. And once that's been done, if you go into settings, general, and about, you'll see that your iPhone has been downgraded.